Hey guys, Paul Synthmania. Tonight we look at uh, how to connect the Elka Syntex to a Lindrum, classic combo of the 80s. Uh, I bought the Elka Syntex uh, about three months ago or so, but I haven't had a chance to hook it up um, to a drum machine yet, to, to sync the sequencer, the built-in sequencer to a drum machine yet. So let's uh, do that together tonight. All right, first of all, let's look at the back panel of the Elka Syntax. And the characters on my Elka Syntax are a little bit faded, so I'll uh, try to explain what's in the back here. This is the output section, so upper and lower outputs here. And this is the input for a filter pedal, and you can assign to the upper, lower, or both parts. This says foot switches here. This is for the hold pedal. This is for release program advance and um, to control the glide. Here is a cassette interface with the usual in and out to save and um, load uh, your, your custom patches via cassette interface. This is a computer interface. And finally here, sequencer. You can set it to internal or external. And uh, this is a jack for the sync in. And this is the jack for the sync out. So we'll try one of these and connect it to the Lindrum. So one of the super cool features of uh, the Elka Syntax, besides the wonderful, wonderful sound, is the built-in four-track sequencer. And this is a really cool and flexible sequencer that can be synced to the drum machine. And just to give an example of, um, of the sequencer, let's start with uh, track one only. And track two. It's got slightly different. Three. And four. And you can also put them all together for massive sound mayhem. All right, syncing the Lindrum to the Syntax is very simple. I'm having the Lindrum as a master and the Syntax as slave. And uh, you can see here, I just plugged in this cable to the sync out from the Lindrum. And I forgot to add that you typically ha do have to go through some converter because uh, the Lindrum sends out 48 um, pulses. Uh, so I'm using this uh, Garfield uh, mini dock. Uh, I have several of these types of uh, interfaces from the 80s. Um, and um, basically this converts the signal from the Lindrum at a rate that uh, the Elka Syntax can understand and follow. And really now all we need to do is to press the start button on the Lindrum and also the key on uh, the Elka Syntax and they will play in sync as this. You can also vary the frequency on the gate to change, um, to change the gate of the notes themselves, such as this. But now let's change uh, the notes and the patches on the Syntax and let's create a typical 1980s style beat. All right, so the pattern that I created on the Lin drum is a 16 beat drum beat and it goes like this. And then on the Syntax I created a split on the left hand, we have a sequence that I program in the typical 80s beat, such as this. Mm -hmm. 
while on the right hand of the split we have a typical resonant uh, pad with, uh, uh, with the position number two chorus. And so when we put all the components together, we set the sequence to start when the drum machine start, and then we can improvise and uh, do a typical classic pattern style of the 80s, such as this. And this is how they used to sync drum machines to synthesizers back in the 80s and create these uh, really cool patterns uh, that are still sounding great to this day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.